Susan Mills. She's the Deputy Director of the California Foundation for Independent Living, and she's been helping um, us get a resolution passed for disability history. So, uh, who's this? And what does he do? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he important to the community? Why is he important to the community? He had a dream and he was able to communicate it and it's being implemented. Good, good, perfect. Uh, so Sheree Kapp, who was a prominent leader in the civil rights movement in the 1950s and 60s, led the Montgomery bus boycott of 1955, delivered, delivered the historic I Have a Dream speech, um, during the March on Washington in 1963, and is a global icon recognized around the world for his contributions to civil rights and ending racial segregation in the United States. So, who is this? And um, Superintendent, you can't answer because you already saw this. <laughs> and he actually knew who it was. Big Brian. So, anyone have any idea? Ed Roberts. <laughs> Um, anyway, his, his name is Ed Roberts, who was a prominent leader in the disability rights movement and the independent living movement of the 1970s and 80s. He founded the first disabled students program while at UC Berkeley in 1969, founded the first center for independent living in Berkeley in 1972, and he was a husband, activist, father, and a leader in our community whose contribution paved, paved the way for the passage of the Americans with Disabilities Act in 1990. So, introduction. Um, the Youth Leadership Forum for Students with Disabilities, Alumni Alliance, Youth Organizing Disabled and Proud, and the California Health and Sentence Improvement Project have launched a 2009-2010 community organizing campaign in celebration of the 20th anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act. So who are we? Well, my, um, I'm a youth from the Northern Peninsula, South San Francisco, um, and there's other people from across California with different types of disabilities who care about the unique history of people with disabilities and the positive contributions they've made to our lives. So the purpose and goal, youth with disabilities are rarely given the opportunity to learn about disability history in the public school system. The Disability History Week campaign has developed a youth organizing strategy to engage decision makers to support a resolution that would encourage California public schools to infuse instruction and activities related to disability history into the existing school curriculum. So did you know that we are part of a national effort that includes 23 states, New York, Florida, Iowa, Massachusetts, and Washington are implementing disability history. So accomplishments, we have collected over 750 petition signatures provided over a dozen presentations to local school officials, state or state associated offices, recruited over 75 youth organizers who have been actively engaged in the campaign, and have received key support from key members of the state legislature. So um, how can you as an individual or organization support the Disability History Week campaign? You can check out our site, sign our petition at yodisabledandproud.org, all one word. Um, are you on Facebook? You can join our cause and group. You can write a letter of support or an endorsement letter. You can present this presentation to the local school board, which I'm doing, um, and the County Board of Education, um, and help us to spread the word about this campaign. And so to contact me, um, I go to school here. Um, and I'm also at a lot of the meetings, so you can just say hi. Um, <laughs> So we're asking that you, as the um, superintendent, board of trustees, and the school board, write a letter of endorsement to the legislator to support this. And Want to say something? yeah, and if Christina, take the mic. So before I say anything, I just want to commend Sarah for doing such a wonderful job here today. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> many young leaders across California with a variety of different types of disabilities 
who has been working on the campaign since it started last September. On Monday, we had a huge, huge, significant success. Assembly member Jim Bell Jr. from San Jose, the Silicon Valley area. I have a lot of voice. Jim Bell Jr. from San Jose, the Silicon Valley area had formally announced and had approved the Disability History Week resolution. Uh, he is the official author of the resolution and it is number ACR 162. Jim, uh, Mr. Bell's office, Assembly Member Bell's office, is taking letters of support from people who believe that disability history should be taught in public schools in California through the K, throughout the K through 12 district, or K through K through 12 system, I'm a little tired tonight, um, as well as community colleges. And it would be absolutely fantastic if you all could be the full first school board to officially put in a letter of support um, endorsing our efforts. And our goal is that after we receive so many letters of support, it actually goes to the floor for approval. We will have a uh, final resolution adopted by the legislature and publicly announced on a very significant date for us, July 26, 2010, which is the 20th year anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act. And at that time, we will all be at the Capitol on the West Lawn, and we invite you all to be part of that special day with us and come and enjoy uh, the festivities and the celebration that we will have there. It won't just be about the Disability History Week resolution. There are many different state agencies, including the California Department of Education, that are putting on an ADA event celebration on the Capitol steps, as well as uh, the annual Youth Leadership Forum for Students with Disabilities program will also be happening simultaneously that day. So I thank you for letting us speak in front of you today, and I hope that um, by Sarah presenting tonight, you are encouraged and move forward in writing a letter of support for the Disability History Campaign. Thank you. ACR 162. Yes. And um, I ask uh, the administration to uh, draft the letter of support on behalf of the board. That we might able to spend. And perhaps we can pass a resolution in their next meeting to support it. Wonderful. ACR. Thank you. And if you'd like to see the resolution language as mm -hmm. it was approved by Legislative Council, it is now on our website, yodisabledandproud.org. Great. So we just pull down the resolution? Yes. It's in your PowerPoint, the web address, and you uh -huh. can go there and pull it off. Thank you so much. Thank Great you. Job. Thank you. Any other questions from the board? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.